Happy New Year. I'm just sitting here reflecting on my 2022. And we're about five days into the new year. Uh, I, I took a big hiatus the last two, three weeks for a couple of different reasons. Right before Christmas, I got COVID. So I had a bit of a, a couple of week downtime getting through that and just relaxing and recovering. Uh, got back into a bit of training, then went into Christmas, New Year, had some perfect celebrations with family and friends over Christmas and New Year. Uh, had a good little break, going to be back at it today. And I think it's really important to reflect, obviously not too much uh, to dwell on what didn't go right in 2022. Um, you know, I think that's not really worth dwelling on. It's worth reflecting on and thinking, okay, how can I get better? And my reflection for 2022 is, um, did I succeed in what my goals were for 2022? I'm not like a big resolution person. I don't go, my New Year's resolution is this. I always sort of just go, well, rolling into the new year, I'm going to make sure I'm continually focused on these goals and that goal um, and just flow on. Like, I, to me, for the last, it's been maybe decade, I've never been like, oh, my New Year's resolution is this. I've never had like a full-on resolution that I've had to, you know, hold myself accountable for and I'm not really sure why that is I'm, I just was like you know to me it's just another day it's just it's just the date changes and I think the goal continues to, to stay the same I think what I have done this year moving towards the end of 22 is is previous years I've been a bit like oh I'm gonna fall off the bandwagon through the holiday period I'm gonna eat too much and I probably stressed out a little bit too much about all that sort of shit but uh, this year I'm just like you know what it is what it is I've, I've worked really hard on my goals this year and I'll tell you what they are in a second and how close I've come to achieving them but it, to me it was just like you know what I'm gonna kick back relax um, I'm gonna feel my body how I need to I'm gonna relax how I need to I'm gonna sleep when I need to I'm gonna spend time with people that I want to um, and that's exactly what I did so I'm feeling pretty kind of refreshed coming through uh, the little short holiday break that I have had and thinking about 2023 like I said, it's just a continual goal from last year. So for my main goals in 2022, um, and I said this to you know a few friends and family, that it was, for me, I was really, really focused on just my health. That was it. Like after what I've been through the last two, three years, I really wanted to focus on my health, both mentally and physically. Um, and I think I've mostly achieved that goal because uh, I've just, Woke up with a thought every day, just get 1% better every day. And I've been just kind of living on that rule for most of this year is just, just like, okay. And and even the days like, and this can this can be something you can, a tool you can take into 2023. And it's one I'm continuing to take with me is that I wake up, I have a bad day. I don't feel so great. I don't, I'm not productive. I might, might be a little bit lazy. I don't get the things that I want to get done. Uh, but. It's not about, okay, I didn't achieve that 1% better today, but it's then about uh, the awareness of how I carried myself that day, reflecting on it and going, okay, you know what, today, uh, maybe I didn't achieve that 1%, but how I've reflected on today, I've achieved that 1%. So, 1 so I'm not letting a bad day roll into another day. Um, I'm dealing with it on that day. By the end of the day, by the time I go to sleep, I know that I'm accountable for what I've done. I'm aware of what I've done. I'm aware of what I need to change, what I need to focus on. And by, you know, sunrise the next morning, it's a completely new day. And I go, well, you know, I don't, I did think I got 1% better yesterday because I feel like I dealt uh, with that down, that down day, that day that probably wasn't my absolute best. I wasn't operating at my best. I wasn't feeling the best. How I reflected on it and how I became aware of it and how I planned into today, I think maybe 1% better than what I would have done, say, the year previously. So that's a big thing for me and a big thing for me this year is just making sure that I'm staying at that 1% better every day. And even if you know, you, I have, or you have a down day, you wake up, you're not feeling great, you're not feeling productive, you want to be lazy, you don't want to do, you know, what you're meant to be doing. As long as you're aware of that, and by the end of the day, you change that decision making and making sure you're waking up the next day and not letting it flow in and roll into more than one day, because, you know, that's where habits get created, right? So, <clears throat> 
I just shared a really good podcast in my uh, Facebook group, my Be Curious Mental Health Facebook group. Uh, it is uh, f- uh, the diary of a CEO, um, so Stephen Bartlett, and he's got a really good take on habit forming. Uh, obviously, if you haven't read the book Atomic Habits, I highly recommend you read that book. And it's a book that, um, it's one of these things that I sort of go back and read parts of. Uh, there's many books that I use as a bit of a workbook. Um, and that's part of being 1% better every day as well. You know, if there's a really good book you've read or a book you've been meaning to read, just try and read a little bit every day. Um, and then if there's key things you've taken out of it, don't just forget about it. Like go back and use that book as a workbook. But Stephen Bartlett talks about this quite a bit with changing your habits and, uh, you know, what, how once a habit is formed, it, uh, you, if for, for the rest of your life, essentially, once that pathway is formed in your brain, your your brain just does not forget that habit. That includes good habits and bad habits, right? So you can easily fall back into bad habits, um, whether you've been trying to eradicate that and get into a new good habit, um, your brain never forgets, right? So it'll go back into a bad habit. So it's really important that moving into this 1% goal of being a little bit better every day in 2023 and your habit forming is that just, you know, just stay consistent as you possibly can. So what, what, like I was saying, don't let a bad day, if you think like you didn't achieve your 1% that day, move into the next day and then the next day and then the next day. And then you're getting into the habit of like, okay, this is how I'm operating today. This is the bad habit of how I'm operating today into the next day, into the next day, into the next day. Um, it's about reflecting on the fact that you've had a bad day, being aware about it, uh, being aware of it, figuring out how you can be better the next day and don't carry that into the next day. Just every day is a new day, right? Um, and you know, there's another really good podcast I've actually been listening to from the same guy, Stephen Bartlett, a diary of the CEO on happiness, which my mate just put me onto yesterday, which I've been listening to. And it's about the connection um, of different thoughts and how they relate to past, present and future. And the only moment to live in is the present moment. And while you're getting that 1% better every day, living in the present moment, knowing that if you've got a bit of anxiety about tomorrow, anxiety is about tomorrow. It's a moment that doesn't exist, right? And if you've got regret or something like that, that's that's an, that's an emotion that lives in the past. So being in the present moment and letting go of all these different emotions is really important to your daily 1% growth because the more you start to think about, okay, you know, I'm having a bad day today, then you'll start to think about, you know, what if this goes into tomorrow? What's going to happen tomorrow? What's happening Friday? What's happening Saturday? My week's not going so great. This this whole moment right here has ruined the rest of my week. Um, but it started back on Monday when I didn't have a good day and I rolled into today. It's about just letting go of those those different emotions that are attached to past you know, the the past and the future and just living in the present moment. Just knowing that you're doing the best you can and that 1% every single day. So that's my reflection for 2022 was, you know, essentially I just wanted to be 1% better every day in my, in my own health. I really took focus away. You know, I've got a really good tight circle of friends around me that are all quite successful, which is really good. And we quite often talk about finance and business and personal development and our own health and our families and all this sort of stuff. And the conversation was very clear for me at the get-go. Like I've had those professional and those business conversations throughout the year and financial conversations, which are all, uh, set goals ready to go for when I want to pull the trigger on those things. But it was very clear to me that there's one single sole focus that I wanted to focus on every single day, get 1% better at every single day this year, this past year, 2022, which was my health, my mental health and my physical health. Because I feel the more I'm operating at a high level, higher level mentally and physically, uh, I feel those other things are just going to flow in a little bit better. And I'm not going to try and force the point of, I have to be in this fun- financial position, financial position. I have to be in this, uh, professional position, for, for example. To me, it's just about learning and growing and making sure my physical and mental health have stayed on point every single day. And I think I've ch- achieved that about 90%. And I think there's another 
I can I can do that better this year and it's, for me it's the same goal and if if there's anything that I could take away from it is that I've got to the end of this year and I've not you know 90% of the time achieved that goal of getting 1% better every day my mental and physical health and I'm feeling the best version of myself that I possibly can right now but there's still parts of me that like I can I can feel better I can do better I can be better and that for me has been a big eye opener this last couple of weeks when I've been reflecting on it and how my year is going to be because this year for me it was like this year is now that I'm feeling a lot better I'm going to focus on financial I'm going to focus on professional but to me there's still that 10% lacking in how I feel in my health and I'm like you know what this is a never ending process this is going to be a never ending process of constantly and, and it's not rocket science right anybody's going to talk about it. you need to keep stay focused on whatever it is all the time to continue to be better but to me it's like okay now for me that is the minimum right that's the minimum requirement for me in my mental and physical health is how i've carried myself this year so i'm starting at scratch that's my baseline of my mental and physical health now my baseline of mental mental physical health i'm going to add in my baseline of financial and professional health and social health and all those other things around me all these other things that i've also been incorporating in the last year but now that i've got a baseline of knowing what i need to do where my health is at what it takes, what it takes of me every day, what I need to be consistent with, um, what I need to be doing, who I need to be surrounding myself with, the actions that I'm carrying, the things that I need to be eating. That's going to take on more improvement this year. <clears throat> so the goals I have set for 2023 is that I'm getting down to the nitty gritty details of health now. So I'm going to go get like blood work done, seeing a naturopath. I'm making sure that everything is absolutely on point with my hormones, making sure my body's fully recovered from what I've been through the last two, three years, which I, th I think it has mostly, but I just want to make sure my hormones are in check because what I am doing is exercising a lot. I'm exerting a lot of energy and I'll make sure that I continue to keep up that energy, making sure I'm supporting my body. So that way, like I said, this base, baseline health that I've I've set my standard to this year remains, uh, and then I'm going to build off that. So I hope you guys have a fantastic 2023. Figure out what your baseline is, making sure you, your baseline of health, finance, wealth, professionalism, whatever it is, and making sure you're holding yourself accountable for that. I'm going to hold myself accountable for that for my baseline. I'm going to be kind to myself as usual, making sure I'm growing 1% every day, even if that is that I have a bad day and just my 1% growth is my reflection and awareness of the fact that I've had a bad day and I don't carry that into the next day. Um, and it's just getting, to, getting better day by day, making sure I'm staying consistent.